Our first day of hunting in Africa starts early. We had very little sleep due to our excitement and jet lag. However, we were anxious to get started and ready to go. We meet up with our guides and make our way to the range to make sure our guns are sighted in, as they are sure to have been knocked around in the flight. Fortunately, the range is just a few minutes from where we stayed the night. We plan to sight in our rifles about an inch and a half high at 100 yards to give us a good working point blank range. Jameson is confident as he knows his shooting will be dead on, like always. They're fishing it? No fish. No fish. As we make our way to our hunting area, we go across a river that is seasonal. It's one of the only ways in the camp. We'll cross this river many times. We're impressed by the wildlife that we see right off the bat. They're like little dinosaurs. <laughs> We are immediately impressed with the beauty and the vastness of the African countryside. We find ourselves amazed that we have come this far from home in just a short amount of time. As we drive to our hunting area, we realize that we have about 8,500 acres on which to hunt. That's about 13 square miles. We're excited to get started. So what we're gonna do right now is we uh, we've come to it's like the first morning it's probably like nine o'clock and uh, we see some wildebeest in the distance and what we're gonna do is we are gonna go and park on top of this hill. It's kind of like antelope hunting in Wyoming. Like you drive around and you glass, see what you can see. And we just got barely onto Richard's property and we see some wildebeest in the distance. So we're gonna go up there. We're gonna try for those or maybe some gemsbuck if we see that or some springbuck if we see that. So it should be good. Dad's up to shoot first and we'll see how it goes afterwards. So that's the plan. We're gonna drive up there right now and see if we can get put a stock on. It's pretty cool. All right. We have our expert driver. Hi. <laughs> We make our way through the African bush to our first spot. We get out of the truck, and after a short hike, make our way to a sheltered area with a wide field view. The plan for this morning is to wait in ambush. so great to be here it's amazing it's amazing uh, no it's crazy the, the videos and the movies don't do it justice it's insane to be here so yeah hopefully we can get on some like my dad is saying lots of spring buck lots of black wildebeest and lots of blessed buck so it's and a zebra we saw zebras in the wild it's yeah. so crazy It doesn't take long, and we start seeing our first animals. A young springbuck walks in, seemingly not knowing that we're even there. We sit and watch her for a while, hoping that others will follow. What an absolutely impressive and amazing creature. It seems surreal to us to be here to look at these animals up close and personal. It's 
The young springbok comes within what would have been bow range before she realizes that something's wrong and somebody's there. We stop and watch her for a few minutes. It's not long before more springbok filter in, including this horned female. If you listen closely, you can hear the springbok grunting all around us. We sit tight as we are convinced that this female is bound to bring in some curious males. Our guide spots a big ram out in the distance. We patiently wait, hoping that it will come closer. Suddenly, we hear grunting behind us, as another big ram has snuck up and around where we couldn't see him, looking for the female that had walked by earlier. About 60 yards. 60 yards. I'm on it. You're good. Nice. He's down. He's down.
is down. He's down. Oh. Well done, buddy. Whoa. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. We got it on tape. Stunned where we are and that we've taken our first African animal, we make our way over to find it. We have some good help from some of the camp's hunting dogs. Our professional guides take the time to situate our animal so that we can document our journey to the greatest possible extent. They also take the time to teach us a little bit about the biology and habits of the animal that we've hunted. None of this animal will go to waste. Bones, hide, meat, and horns will all be appreciated and utilized. All right, guys, here we are, my first African animal. This is springbuck, it's awesome. Springbok, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's great, I can't, uh, can't believe it. Such a great place, such a great morning. It's a little bit overcast, awesome. Thanks, thanks for tuning in and watching us with us. We had some great guides helping us this morning. First of hopefully a few to come. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and tune in for our next episodes. If you've been thinking about it, you definitely owe it to yourself to make a trip to Africa. If we can do it, you can do it. Until next time, thanks for watching.